When did you realize that, that you were different to other people, that, that there was something more going on? Um, I mean, I certainly remember a story, but it could have been before that. I, I remember the story with your grandmother. But, but was there anything before that that, that you realized that, there was, um, that, that you were different to other children? I always, from our very earliest memory, yeah. I remember seeing shadows. Mm. Um, and sometimes seeing somebody walk past my bedroom door or down the passage to the lounge. But yeah. when you're like three, four years old, you don't think about it. It's just something that's there. Yeah. And then my first real awareness was with my grandmother. So you, you would see shadows, um, not around people. So you wouldn't see stuff around people. You would see shadows just down the hallway. Yeah. Things like that from That's when right. you were small. Yeah. And you thought that was normal or did, you, did it scare you? Well, I thought everybody saw them. Oh, yes. Yeah. Well, you would as a child. Yeah. Of course. And I never... When you're like three or four years old, you don't say to your mother, you know, oh, do you see the shadows? Yeah. You, <laughs> you just, just think everybody sees them. Yeah. That's normal. Yeah. That's no, normal. Yeah. You don't think it's abnormal. No. And then you, I mean, I, I know the story of your, when your grandmother passed away. Do you, do you want to um, tell me what happened there? Yeah. Um, my gran lived with us mm -hmm. and she got very ill and went to hospital. I was five years old. And... The one night my mom and dad went to visit her and I was asleep. And I woke up because somebody was tapping on my bedroom door. It was, it was a jar. And I looked and my grandmother walked in. And I was elated to see her because I was very close to her. Yeah. And I said, oh, you better, oh, you better. And she said, don't get out of bed. I've come to say goodbye. And I said, what do you mean say goodbye? You live here. She said, no, I'm going home. I'm going to my mother and father. And I still didn't know what she was talking about. Mm -hmm. But she said to me, I want you to promise me you'll always be a good person. And remember that I love you. And I will see you again one day. And she bent down and she kissed me on the forehead and I actually felt the heat of her breath. And she used to wear 4711 eau de cologne, oh, yeah, and I, I could that. smell it. Yeah, 4711, yeah. yeah. Catchy name for a cologne. Very, yeah. very old fashioned. Yes, but I remember it, yeah. yeah. It before Old Spice, well, it was around Old Spice days. Yeah. Or, yeah four, I remember that, yeah. And then um, she turned around and went back out the door, and I fell asleep. And then my mom and dad came home, and I heard the car, because the drive was next to my bedroom. And my mom walked in, and she was crying. So your, your grandmother didn't come back off. <laughs> no, I, don't think she, I don't think she needed it <laughs> you know travel by thought <laughs> Jonathan Livingston Seagull <laughs> oh travel by thought yes yeah. great book that yeah Jonathan Livingston Seagull yeah fantastic anyway I, yeah. I, I was very uh, I, was, I was very small but I jumped out of bed oh mommy mommy what's wrong and she said oh your granny died and I'm like no she didn't she's, she's just come to get her stuff she's going home and my mother said, what are you talking about? And I said, she came to my room and said goodbye. She's going to her mom and dad. Yeah. And my mother, she just went white and she said to me, go to bed. Really? And I said, no, you don't understand. And she's saying, go to bed now. Ah. So. Do, do you have any idea how old you were then? I was about four and a half, five. Oh, that young. Hey, yeah, it wow. was my first year of school. I remember that. Okay. Because I hated and it. And you were up in Zimbabwe at that time? No, no, Johannesburg. Johannesburg, yeah. before you moved. Yeah. It was only after you married, I think. Yeah, I went to Zimani for two years. Oh, okay. Yeah. So four and a half, five, your mother said just go to bed. She was obviously... Uh, she was well, very upset. Very upset. Yeah. Upset that you had said, no, she's, she's alive, she was just here. Well, I think she was a little bit shocked. Yeah. You know, maybe she thought I, I was dreaming. Yeah. I don't know. Because we never actually discussed that again. So she never brought it up? No. My mom was very religious. She, and she looked at you differently from then on, I bet. Um, yeah. But, but she didn't show it? No. Because you know, also she's thought maybe you had a dream or something. That's right, and, yeah. you know, it could be coincidence. Yeah. You know, and you know, when you're lines. five and you've got a, a religious um, hard mother... Because my mum was quite a hard lady because she yeah. had a hard life. You don't question. You just yeah. do as you're told. Yes. Yeah. yeah. 
Um, was a tough so lady. I just didn't say anything. You know, if, yeah, I, yeah. if I never spoke about the shadows or anything that I might have heard, sometimes I used to hear funny things like somebody calling my voice when I was on my own in the back garden and stuff like that. Yeah. I never said anything until I was about seven and we lived in another house. Uh, we Still lived up in Johannesburg? In Johannesburg. Okay, South Africa, yeah. Yeah, and uh, I came home from school one day. Um, my bedroom was off the kitchen. And there was a man sitting... It wasn't sitting lifted off the kitchen. No, no, like it, it was... hadn't lifted off the kitchen. <laughs> no, I wasn't levitating. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. So, so your kitchen was... Your bedroom was still attached to the kitchen. Yeah, yeah. You could it walk was, from the kitchen just, into right, my bedroom. Okay. So just, just clearing that one up. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. And uh, I saw this man sitting at the kitchen table yeah. smoking a pipe. And um, I spoke Afrikaans. I come from Afrikaans home. Ah. And I looked at him and I said, Mirach um, yeah. You know? I mean, good, good, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Uncle. Yeah. yeah. And I went to my room, and my mom came. And she said, "Who are you talking to?" And I said, "The man in the kitchen." Yeah. She said, "What man in the kitchen?" And I said, "Mom, there's a man in the kitchen smoking a pipe." <laughs> oh my God! Don't start that again. Because <laughs> she remembered because the time before was yeah. the grandmother. All right. And that's when they whipped me off to the Apostolic Faith Church. Yeah. And had me exorcised. Oh, you got exercised at the age of seven. I've been exercised once by <laughs> by a girlfriend that I, I was. I really liked this one girl, and and I told her a lot about my beliefs, and um, she said, "No, no, you need to be exercised." <laughs> so because I liked her so much, I, I let her perform you exercises. Do it. <laughs> and then I said, oh, "I feel so much better." And then she says, "Well, we need to start doing them like regularly." So. Uh, that was when I knew it, it wasn't going to work because I didn't feel like getting exercised like, <laughs> every week. So, so that was when you were about seven or eight, and mm. they took you in and got you exercised. They, they thought these were demons coming into you. Yeah, I was possessed. You were possessed by yeah. demons. Yeah. And so it wasn't a gift because, I mean, in the Bible it talks, I think it's in 1 John, about um, having spiritual gifts, um, you know, that everybody has, mm. not everybody, but... Yeah, everybody does have their own spiritual gifts. Well, it's a repeated passage from the book of Acts, John yeah. and Acts, yeah. where it says that in the final days, blah, 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 blah. Oh, so right. I learned a lot of my Bible through spirit teaching, so I'm quite a fan oh, really? of the Bible. Yeah. Quite a fundy, hey? Not a fundy, but I, I know quite a bit. Yeah, yeah. I, I can imagine. Yeah, you've, I mean, yeah, so in, so in this, in, in 1 John, uh, I think it's 23 or something like that, 23, uh, talks about in 1 John, and, and it's like as, as long as you, you um, do it with love, you know, um, yeah. as, as long as you do whatever you do with love. With good then, intention. With good intention, mm. yeah. Then um, those spiritual gifts you're, you're born with, yeah. Yeah. Um, but back then, you know, I can imagine it was a it was a freak out for your for your mother who was, because then there's also the you know the fear that you might be possessed by Satan, right. um, yeah. that Satan has has grabbed hold of your soul and that now yeah having and, evil spirits oh, popping I can around. Just imagine, yeah. yeah, it was quite hectic. But after that incident with the old man in the kitchen, I never said anything. I didn't tell my mother about. Simon. Simon appeared one night at my bed. Yeah. Um, I was about 12, 11, and I heard him, somebody call my name. And everybody had gone to bed. Mm -hmm. And I opened my eyes and I saw like a, a glow, a very soft glow, like a light mm -hmm. candle glow at the mm -hmm. foot of my bed. And I thought it was my mum with a torch. Mm. And then the voice said again, Estelle. So I, I looked into the light and I saw features develop and I got so scared, I stuck my head under the blanket. <laughs> <laughs> this is at 11, 12, eh? yeah. wow, this is early on. Yeah. So this is really, yeah. It's been ongoing and this, yeah. this soul, Simon, for about a year, two or three times a week, he would appear and he would teach me things. He would teach me about unconditional love he would teach me about levitation oh, wow. uh, a lot of the stuff I didn't understand I was a kid but he said to me one day when you are ready you yeah. will remember every word that I have brought you okay and I never told my mom about it no I didn't tell anybody but um, how, how often did you say you would come two three times a week two three times a week yeah 
giving you teachings at the, at that age teaching. just teaching you about all sorts of stuff yeah his name was simon what a cool guy yeah, yeah. and then after about so he'd a come year and sit at your bed like a normal person he'd just stand at the foot of the bed he'd stand at the foot of the bed yeah like so he wouldn't sit he would stand yeah. well, i suppose when you're in that dimension you know you're not going to get tired I suppose of standing. he hovered a little bit <laughs> did he hover really? yeah, exactly. okay so yeah he's not going to get tired of standing no. he's not going to go like listen oh i've been uh-uh. standing for too no, long no, no. Please let me sit. Come on. Yeah, no, no don't do All that. Right. I don't need to sit. Be, be cool. Come on. At least, you know, I'm older than you. <laughs> give me a drink of water. <laughs> yeah, give me a drink of water. Get, where, where are the cookies? All right. But he <laughs> went after a year. He said, uh, ah, okay. t- he said, this is the very last time I will communicate with you. And you must have missed him, surely. I did. I actually Two laid in bed and cried. He's, he's, he's your yeah. buddy now. He's yeah. like, your, you look forward to that yeah. sort of thing. Yeah. And I never found out anything about him. Mm. about where he came from or his previous life or nothing. He just came and he just spoke came, to you. He gave me knowledge and then he went. And also calming as well. Like he was your, Did you have brothers and sisters? Um, oh, well, that's a long story, but <laughs> at that point in time, I had one brother okay. that uh, was three years older than me. Okay. And I would never have told him because he was he was a boy's boy, you know. Yeah, he was out playing boys. Yeah, yeah he would have stuff. just ridiculed me. Oh yeah. Or he sure. would have told my mother, and then I well, would have been in trouble. You, you, my sister. <laughs> so this guy, so you must really missed him because that's two, three times a week you got a guy to chat to you for a year. For a year, and he's like giving you teachings yeah. and stuff, and you feel privileged. Yeah. Did Did he ever say like? It's, did you ask him questions? Did you say like? You know, must I talk to other people about this? Um, I said to him, what, uh, I think I said to him, don't, don't tell my mom about this. You said to him? Yes, and he said, my child, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. All right, so it was more you, were, so he wasn't warning you not to go out to the no, world and say, never, listen, I've got this dude hovering at the base of my bed. Yeah. Uh, every you know three times a week. <laughs> oh, no. uh, he wasn't wanting you. You you had already learned the lesson. Yeah. By your yeah. mother freaking out when uh, that was that second time. Hey, when you said there was a guy in the kitchen. Yeah. Mm. And then your mother freaked out. So yeah. you 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 were like, all right, you're not talking to anyone about no. Simon. 